Hello, Don in London, July 4th. Happy Independence Day for many in the US. My video is all about recovery from addiction to either substance or behaviour. My addictive substance, alcohol, my behaviour equally addictive around people, places and things. So, in recovery, me, for a little while, learning how to live sober and share a message of experience, strength and hope through these videos. So, what helped me become sober? Well, family, friends, community, medical people kept me alive long enough to get a moment of clarity that I could not beat my addiction to alcohol on my own. And that was a very hard lesson because I always thought if I can stand on my own two feet, face the world and get on with it, I would be able to do anything, conquer anything. And what I realise these days, even the simplest of matters to do with life are best discussed, best aired and shared, so that I can get some wisdom and experience, strength and hope from other people. So how did that happen? Well, after the moment of clarity, I could not beat addiction on my own. I did find the fellowship of AA, Alcoholics Anonymous. To be sure, I never speak for AA. It's full of unique, authentic people who speak where they will for themselves. And many simply speak in the meetings and the rooms of AA, where people share their experience, strength and hope about sobriety and real life. After all, do we not want to get back to real life? I spent an awful lot of time trying to fix my feelings on a daily basis and failed. Because feelings cannot be fixed, we feel the way we feel given our life experience and what is happening today. So we are emotional and spiritual people. And when I say spiritual, I mean the ability to cope with now. And for many people, spiritual includes faith and understanding God. For me, I'm still learning. I'm still a learner. But the Fellowship of AA has prov provided me with the opportunity to keep on looking at how to live life and keep on learning one day at a time. So although I don't speak for it, never can, never will, I would be rem it would be remiss of me not to share how it's worked, worked for me. So I'm sharing the AA preamble from the which is said at the beginning of every meeting and it goes like this. Alcoholics Anonymous is a fellowship of men and women who share their experience, strength and hope with each other that they may solve their common problem and help others to recover from alcoholism. The only requirement for membership is a desire to stop drinking. Just that. A desire to stop and that's as far as it goes. There are no dues or fees for AA membership. We are self-supporting through our own contributions. AA is not allied with any sect, denomination, politics, organisation or institution nor anything to do with my videos. It does not wish to engage in any controversy, neither endorses nor opposes any causes. Our primary purpose is to stay sober and help other alcoholics to achieve sobriety. So, in the spirit of sharing experience, strength and hope of how it works for me, this is the basis of these videos. And they do sort of fo follow the same format you would find in any fellowship meeting, which is uh, the AA preamble, as I shared just then, followed by information and um, somebody sharing from the heart about what's happening for them often it, it's straight from the heart which is about our emotional and spiritual living so the fellowship program always emphasizes emotional and spiritual because when we start to think about life we start to <laughs> we start to go in all different directions and uh, all I know is if I was left left to my own devices with my own thinking I'd get into a smaller and smaller world. So if I know how I feel today and I'm in the moment, I stand a better chance of having a day which is productive and good for me and I feel good about it. And that's what it's all about. So I share my thoughts here and where they come from. They come from people I know, family, friends and also fellowship about life and what's going on for them. But I don't share in particular about other people. I can only share about me and what's happening to me. So every every time I do these videos, it's like a daily meditation. And it also highlights how I've changed over the years because I share some of the words from past past videos and past years. So July 4th, 
when I say Independence Day, I think uh, every day is Independence Day if I don't take a drink and I don't obsess about being with the right people in the right place doing the right things. It's just best to be with people in places doing things which are good, where my needs are met and wants are forgotten. So it's not, it's not about being the best of everyone, it's about making the best of what is, knowing how I feel about it and being in the moment of now. And I feel pretty okay right now, although I've just paid some big bills which is sharpening my understanding of the economies required in life right now. But I'm glad I can do it, and I'm doing it because before I wouldn't open the post, I wouldn't know where my finances were, and I would feel unable to cope. And those were in the final days before everything went. So today, what's been on my... Well, before I do the today bit, I just want to share a bit about the daily reflections and uh, AA's Daily Reflections book, which is behind me, this one, uh, is, has been a godsend, although I'm still working on understanding what God may be. And I'm, I'm not being flippant when I say that. I, I say it with genuine feeling. I'm just learning. I don't know. From the AA Daily Reflections it says a natural faith. Deep down in every man, woman and child is the fundamental idea of God. It may be obscured by calamity, by pomp, by worship of other things, but in some form or other it is there. For faith in a power greater than ourselves and miraculous demonstrations of that power in human lives are facts as old as man himself. And it goes on to say, I have seen the workings of the unseen God in AA rooms around the country. Miracles of recovery are everywhere in evidence. I now believe that God is in the rooms and in my heart. Today, faith is as natural to me, a former agnostic, as breathing, eating and sleeping. The twelve steps have helped to change my life in many ways, but none is more effective than the acquisition of a higher power. Well, I sort of work in reverse. I know I'm not God. And I know that every single element in my life, people, places and things, if I have my sobriety where I feel right about what's going on right now, I have a better chance of being involved in the big picture. And I was writing this morning, a natural faith in God, with a question mark. I add the question mark to the dec declaration because I'm not sure. And this feels okay for me. As a human being, I've learned to trust and have faith in people I get to know. And I'm only able to know them because I do have trust and faith in my life. So it's a sort of chicken and egg in a, in a strange sort of way. A natural faith in humanity works for me. A natural faith in not being God. A natural faith that I'm, I can learn more. Now, I'm not absolutely addicted to old attitudes and behaviour and substances so I can keep on learning and for me that comes in the form of truth, love and wisdom guide me daily as an individual I can have opinions and belief which is only part of the story so I do have opinions and beliefs as you can tell I need to look outwards toward the big picture listen to others and become more informed when I look out and listen I see and hear the world I get more truth, more love and more wis wisdom. So by looking outwards, not thinking it all resides in my head. Because when I used to take a drink, what happened? Well, I was in the end I was looking for oblivion because life didn't work anymore, anymore. But along the way, I used alcohol to take the edge off. And what happened? My, my feelings and my thoughts were only as big as what was going on in my own head and that might have made me feel quite powerful that I knew exactly what was going on in my head so therefore the world should be the way I wanted it to be but I forgot along the way that I, kept, I couldn't have done that in the first place if I hadn't got an opinion or understood something of the world outside me so if I continue to look outside myself for the answer when I have problems today and ask for help that's where it works for me and in the past years 
conscious contact with God and or good conscience to love and be loved useful again beyond definition the universe and nature God it is beyond definition for me I could never define ever growing truth love and wisdom with ever loving with, with oh, sorry about this ever growing truth that's by looking outwards love and wisdom we make progress nurture our path so simple when our needs are met made complicated by our man made wants and I can get stuck in wants as good as the next person and it's very easy to do that so I try to look outwards look at what I need today and not what I want because I want it now and the answer is sometimes I have to wait a bit and also from previous years a life plan just for today today I do not want to be right simply to feel right so it's not about being in charge or knowing better than anybody else because I, if I don't know what's good for me I don't know what's good for you to be open, honest and willing to change to listen to everything and not just what suits me to be helped and to help to be a part of life as it may be to learn to be at peace and live with live serenity to live serenity where needs are met and wants are forgotten and that's where I'm at <laughs> it sounds quite simple when I say it like that but <clears throat> my goodness my head can make it so much more complicated by trying to do it a different way even when it comes to paying the bills I resent it sometimes because I just want to keep enough reserve to feel comfortable and of course life isn't like that life is uncomfortable but if I realize needs are met if I feel right that my needs are met and I can cope then life is okay and the serenity prayer which is available at any given moment in the day to improve my courage, faith and confidence to keep on going to ask for help even though I can be so reluctant it does help me and it, and it settles me down to what is possible and not possible so the can do can't do so the serenity prayer to God or just simply to good conscience God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change paying the bills and everything else can't change people, places or things either courage to change the things I can my attitudes and behaviour and share and look outwards and the wisdom to know the difference so to accept the things I cannot change courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference always I realise it's in the moment and just for today